It's been delayed 137 days, but it's finally here. The Blue Jays home opener. Well, not here, but their temporary home in Buffalo, and it's taken a lot of work to transform what is normally the home of the Buffalo Bisons into the home of the 2020 Toronto Blue Jays. We brought a lot from back home um, for full Campbell moving trucks. For the last month, Salem Field in Buffalo has undergone massive renovations to be brought to Major League Baseball standards to host the Jays. And it wasn't easy. They had a lot of hurdles to overcome. One was really infrastructure. Like, there was no Major League Baseball infrastructure here. So it, it's not a knock on it. It was just a AAA facility. The crew were up against the clock as the home opener for the league shortened season was three weeks ago, the same day the Jays announced that they would eventually call Buffalo home after the Canadian government denied their request to play at the Rogers Center. So we replaced the infield, we replaced behind home plate, down the lines, and then 20 feet out. So you will see on the broadcast a little bit of coloration difference. We, we didn't have time to do the entire field. The stadium is much smaller than what Major League Baseball teams are used to, so they had to get creative with spaces. What once was the batting cages is now the Blue Jays clubhouse. It's not going to look like home exactly, but anything you could do to make it look like home. So we packed up our entire home weight room. We packed up our entire visiting weight room. Um, all of the clubhouse chairs are from home. Now look at the path they would take to walk out to the field. If they didn't tell me, I wouldn't believe it was the same building. The Jays organization tried to make it feel as close to their Toronto home as possible. Just look at Jays manager Charlie Montoyo's office. They had help from his wife Samantha to make it feel more like the Rogers Center. We worked with Samantha you know, just to make it feel a bit like home. So it had the pictures of Alex and Tyson on his desk and we had put his like instruments out and his picture that he keeps of Alex in his, in his locker room. And um, we tried where we could to do that. And like many other Major League Baseball teams, the Jays will have fans in the stadium. Well, at least cardboard cutout versions. Fans are able to purchase cutouts for $60 for the season with a portion of the profits going towards the Jays Care Foundation. So far, more than 20 games have been canceled in Major League Baseball because of COVID-19 outbreaks on the teams. There are reports today that Major League Baseball is looking at putting the playoffs in a hub-like format. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.